Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com here with another YouTube edition, special edition. Today we're going to look at, literally, running the HTC Advantage. I know I've written about and spoken about this device a lot, but I'm really impressed with it. And I'm getting a lot of questions, good questions from people, so I wanted to show you what it looks like running the device. So. I have it hooked up to my Lenovo ThinkPad X61 tablet PC. I'm using a remote control program called My Mobler that Kevin Tofel found and told us about a few weeks back. And so there's a certain amount of lag associated because I'm actually recording the video on the screen of the ThinkPad. This My Mobler software is throwing the advantage screen to the ThinkPad. So don't make any assumptions about running speed from any lag that you might see because it's strictly due to the uh, strictly due to the remote control program my mobile so here we are first up we've got the screen here now this is not installed on the HTC advantage this is called the now screen and it is installed by a program that I've I, I've I bought installed and really like called SPB mobile shell now this now screen is kind of a large mobile phone looking screen that to supply you with all the pertinent information you need. You can set this kind of uh, when the machine times out after a certain amount of time, it'll come to the screen automatically. So if it's sitting on your table, your desk, you can have this running all the time. And it's got lots of good information, date, time, 100 degrees, hot, hot temperatures, Battery is charging at 80% time. I've got five emails, which you may have seen those come in as we started recording, and uh, my upcoming appointments. So that's this. Let's close this out and go to the Today screen because that's what you're going to be more familiar with. If you're familiar with Windows Mobile, you will be familiar with this Today screen. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty standard stuff in here. It's got uh, MSN Live Search right here. You can type stuff in right on the screen using the keyboard or whatever, or the on-screen keyboard even, and search for stuff. Now, this strip here is a little utility that was actually pre-installed by HTC, and it shows you typical stuff. Battery strength, which is, shows it's charging now because it's plugged into the ThinkPad, and it charges via USB. Screen rotation, communications manager, brightness, and a couple of other utilities. I think that's GPS, and I forget what this one is. It's uh, sending, uh, it maybe uh, sending MMS messages because it looks like it's sending photographs to an email. <clears throat> so this is the Today screen, pretty standard. Like like I said, see this button here is I've got it programmed to go to that now screen which let's let's just toggle it here so you can see it so there we go back now this on the real device this transition happens instantaneously but the remote control software is actually making this a little slower than usual so anyway back to SPB mobile shell it's also installed these tabs up here uh, this little battery again it's another battery but if you click it you get a list of your most recently run programs. So you can get quick access without having to go through the start menu. That works really well. This little clock here, if you'll notice, it says the, the time currently is 6.50, and this icon is showing the real time. But if you click on it, what you instantly get is a way to interact with alarms and three different time zones, which is pretty handy. Here we've got weather. This icon says it's sunny, which it is right now. And you see your day's forecast and then your next few days forecast behind. It looks like we're in for some rain, but at least the rain is cooling it down from 100 to 87 degrees. That's good. And then over here we have something that you, you'll be familiar with on lots of phones, and that's the photo speed dial, which you can set up. And, and I think it'll handle multiple rows you can put in a whole bunch of them but i've just got these set in you can see buddy matt miller cartoon head kevin tofel my lovely bride and then some other stuff here so that's spb mobile shell
But that's not what we came to see. Let's see some real programs. Um, a lot of what I do with this is web work. I love working on the internet with this device. So let's go to Internet Explorer first up and see what we've got here. Oh, we've got JK on the run. Now, as you can see, it's a very nice, rich environment with this big screen. And of course, you can adjust the text size if you want, Windows Mobile. It, it looks almost like the uh, full desktop browser. We can even come to the right here. And the important thing, you can see your uh, ads on the site. So you can even click them on the HTC <laughs> Advantage. That's, I'm just being funny. But see, there's your sidebar. There's the Dynamic Duo or the Goofy Duo, depending on how you look at it. So it's just a really nice Internet Explorer. is pretty cool. Tell you what, let's go to somewhere else just so you can see it. And remember this again, this is a little slow <clears throat> because of the remote control program. Let's go to Google. And it should should fire up Google Mobile since it's uh, gonna identify itself as a yeah, see the M that means mobile. And we can search for stuff here just like uh, any other browser. So but the cool thing is that HTC has not only pre-installed Opera Mobile, but they've also made it the default, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to fire up Opera here, I think. Actually, let me go to the hardware button. That'll work better. I'm, I'm noticing that this remote control program is having trouble uh, registering some mouse clicks and that's my mobilers problem so here we are this is uh, wow that was quick this is Opera Mobile um, I'm actually have it open right now to Google Reader um, because that's my RSS feed reader of choice and this is the mobile version of it and it works really well I really like uh, working with the reader here it's very easy to just click on stuff spin through 10 at a time See, I just clicked on that, so we should see, I hope, um, the article here. There it is. And in here, we can go to the original, or we can star it for saving for later or whatever. So that's Google Reader. There's, uh, it's just a really nice, rich browsing experience. No matter which, no, uh, no matter which, browser you use, Internet Explorer or or uh, Opera Mini. I think it's, no, it's Opera Mobile, I think. This is not the mini version. I think it's the mobile version. So that's kind of uh, what we've got here, which is really cool. There's lots of stuff going on. I don't want to do anything that I have to type any uh, passwords and give that away. So let's, let's, let's move on. I want to keep this pretty short. So we're going to close out Opera and get back to the Today screen. Well, actually, we've got to get out of the dialog boxes first. So we're out of there. Let me show you something, Pocket Informant. Pocket Informant is my favorite PIM application. You see, I can see with this big vivid screen of the HTC. I get lots of information, switch between different views, handily, really nice application. I love Pocket Informant. So let's go. You can track your tasks, your contacts, your, your schedule, all that stuff. Really nice program. Very nice job pocket informant. Now, one thing you have to remember is I use the advantage in portrait mode a lot and switching it. I've, I've actually, there's a button, hardware button on the side of the device that's set for the community to fire up the communications manager. But since I don't use it all that much, I have it programmed to rotate the screen and that has worked really nice for me. And I can't show you the transition right now strictly because it screws up the remote control program. 
if the uh, screen dimensions change. So and it works well. Now have to show you Moby Pocket Reader, which is reading ebooks on the HTC Advantage with this big screen is wonderful. Now I normally read in portrait mode, so I would have all of this stuff going this way. And you see you've got a nice interface, very minimal, minimalistic to show you where you are. It's just a really nice program and I really enjoy reading ebooks with Moby Pocket Reader. Nice big vivid screen. This screen, by the way, that I'm capturing is almost actual size. I've noticed. It looks it's very close. So let's go down and see what programs are pre-installed on the Advantage. Won't open them all up, but I'll, I'll show you a few that I've installed as well. We have lots of stuff here I've installed. Uh, actually, HTC pre-installed Adobe Reader. And I've discovered that with this big screen and the super fast processor in the Advantage reading PDFs. I get a lot of PDF reports and reading them on this thing is a real joy. It works very well. This Beyond Pod is a pod catcher that I installed today. I haven't set it up or used it yet so I, I can't recommend it or not currently. Then we've got some of the regular stuff. We've got the camera. Far up it's got three megapixel camera. I have installed Google Maps you know, I'm going to click this and probably regret it because I don't know. Um, ha having this hooked up through Windows Mobile Device Center as it is really interferes with my network connection, I've discovered. But uh, anyway, do not operate while driving. That's a good good thing. Uh, it's pretty fast. Okay. So it's pretty cool. It's actually got my location in there. This works pretty well with the integrated GPS although um, it's not that rich compared to other navigation software. So I, I should be able to evaluate the Telenav service in the next few days, and that'll be great. List Pro, I just installed it a couple days ago. It's a nice list, kind of even an outliner. Um, some of this stuff, I'm not going to cover all of it because it'll, it, it'll take us too long. Uh, but a lot of this stuff is all pre-installed. This is the My Mobile or the remote control that we're using now. Opera, pictures and videos, you're familiar with that. Uh, Quick GPS, which is uh, works with the GPS. Now, Resco Radio. You know what? I should start that. Let's do that for a minute real quick because I am really enjoying Resco Radio. I like listening to Internet streaming music, and I bought and installed... Resco Radio. Actually, it's got a uh, trial, but after a day, I bought it. Let's go to Smooth Jazz. I'm a, I don't know how my network connection again is again. So, can so you hear that through my headset? I'm turning up the volume. You can't see it. I'm actually pushing it with my finger. I guess you can see it. Okay, that's enough of that. Resco Radio, very nice program indeed. Let's get out of here. I normally exit my programs, but some people just like to close them. And then we've got um, typical stuff. Oh, we have to look at Skype real quick. Skype works very well on the Advantage using the... Uh, microphone and the and the speakers um, oh I'm actually online <laughs> that's not good uh, but give you a chance to see how it looks we'll turn some of that off it works looks and feels just like regular old uh, oh it says I am offline I don't know why it shows that there you go just like regular desktop Skype, but I've used it a number of times, and it works very well. So I like Skype a lot. Then, of course, this is the uh, Telenav I was telling you about. I'll be trying it. Voice speed dial, where you record voice tags for frequently called contacts. You can also sign 
tag voice tags to fire up specific programs so it works pretty pretty nice and I really prefer it to voice command by Microsoft because it's faster and it's uh, I don't know it just seems to work better for me because I have a lot of contacts and then SPB menu that's part of the SPB mobile shell um, takes you in and and does different stuff I may show you that here in a minute now let's go in I'll show you oh there was one thing I did want to show you though and this is system info nice little utility which shows you all of your memory cards what's what's used and free your program memory storage memory storage card which I have a one gig s uh, what is it? it's a mini SD card in here and then it's got the 8 gig or 7.4 gig formatted in an internal microdrive, which, wow, I've got a lot of space left there. And I've got a lot of music on here. I've been installing music today. And then, of course, on this tab, you can check your battery. It's charging at 80%. That's a nice little utility. I like that a lot. And I'm not sure if that was installed on the HTC or if that came with uh, SPB uh, Mobile Shell because it installed a bunch of utilities. And so that is the different programs. You see the start menu. It looks very similar to Windows Mobile. Owners will be very familiar with that. Works pretty well. You can control all this stuff. You can, uh, all your different system settings. Just scrolling down. This is slow because of the lag from the remote control. This is always. And then lots of connections options to deal with everything. Bluetooth connection, GPRS, HSDPA switch. You can actually turn HSDPA off if you, uh, which I think will save you a little battery if, if you so desired. So pretty thoughtful stuff there. close all the way back out again remember Windows Mobile doesn't close stuff although you can program that right click button to do two things where you can hold it the red X if you hold it down instead of just tap it it will close the actually exit the program or you can now program that if you just tap it it will exit the program too so you can kind of have the best of both worlds if you want that's pretty much the walkthrough I wanted to do. Of course, there's Office Mobile. I guess let me show you that real quick, where you get the different programs. Let's open up Word Mobile. I've used all three of these. I have a bunch of my work documents on this uh, installed on the microdrive. And it's loading up very slowly because... It's it's actually going out and polling all three of the memory cards. To, oh, no, I actually must have left a document open. Ooh, I need to get out of that. You don't need to see that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I always forget I had left a document open, so it went straight to it. Let's uh, let's go to new. Yeah, let's tell it. Let's create a new document, which should be interesting on this um, remote control software because. Theoretically, I should be able to do this. Oh, yeah. It's slow because of the remote control. I'm actually typing this on the ThinkPad right now. Now, when I do this using just the advantage, of course, this is immediate. It's, it's quick. So that's... Uh, Word Mobile. All three of those programs, of course, they're subsets of the uh, desktop equivalents, but they work very well, and I use them predominantly for reference for work documents. But I, I have created some here, and I do some writing here in uh, Word Mobile, as well as uh, I actually use the Note application in Pocket Informant, too. I should probably show you that real quick. This note application is pretty cool because you can assign notes to events, phone calls. Yeah, you can fire up a note in the middle of a call and it will be automatically tagged back to the, the contact, the date, the time, and the duration. 
it's pretty it's pretty slick but if i wanted to say i want to create a new note let's do that you can do daily notes it comes with a lot of different stuff okay let's see if i can type here this actually works with ink it's really designed for ink notes which it records very well by the way in fact it there we go a good uh, again with the uh the, the lag from the remote control it's not keeping up with me whereas normally it always does so i need to cancel that i don't want to save it yeah there we go so this is pocket informant this has been a quick look at the htc advantage the different programs kind of a look and feel to see how it, how it works for you. Um, uh, again, the, the actual device is very fast, and I'm very pleased with that. Um, easily the fastest Windows mobile device I've ever seen. So I think that's all that I wanted to cover today. So thanks for tuning in. This has been James Kendrick from jkontherun.com. We'll be back again really, really soon. Bye now.